Early harvest is underway for the Western Sugar Cooperative and its growers in Montana and Wyoming. With more on how this year's harvest is going, here's the Montana Ag Network's Russell Nimitz. Well, this time of the year, there's that slight chill in the air. And for Montana and Wyoming sugar beet growers, that means only one thing. It's time for another harvest. So far, it's going good. The conditions are real nice. Uh, Moisture's just right. If it was any drier, it'd be too dry. If it was any wetter, we'd be pulling trucks. The Hind family of Ballantyne and Custer are western sugar growers. And Perry says this year's sugar beet crop is one of the best in years. Overall, uh, even in the four state area, uh, the crop is a really good crop. It's probably one of the top three crops that Western Sugar Co-op has had. Levi Hine says that the sugar industry continues to be very important for farmers like him and for good reason. The sugar industry is very important. Obviously, if there wasn't a sugar industry, we'd probably have to raise something else. And, you know, we can't just go plant a crop of cows tomorrow. That takes time to, you know, develop a herd of cows. And, and there's only so much we can produce around here and feed through our livestock. And most everything that we produce outside of sugar beets or wheat, you know, turned into flour is put through cows. So for this, it's a diversification for the industry. He's also proud that he and his brother Justin's kids are being raised on the farm and like them, learning valuable life lessons through agriculture. Try to teach them just the value of work, you know. It, they don't get a choice some days. They, they get to come with us and we go irrigate or we go fix fence and just teach them some values about life, you know, and showing them how dedication to hard work can pay off in the end. And they just love this time of year because now we get to see what we did all summer and turns into a crop and it makes it better for them. Perry agrees and says that farming is in his family's blood, which gives him hope that his family's farm will remain multi-generational. I don't know, it's just something you grow into, I guess. I, you know, ever since I was a little kid, uh, my dad was involved in, my grandfather was. Uh, yeah, it's just several generations and it seems like by the time one generation is getting out, there's the new generation is there to step into it again. Near Custer, Russell Nimitz, MTN News. And harvest will hit full speed for Western Sugar Cooperative growers the first full week of October.